Wondering what the use of the detector rail is in Minecraft? This video is going to explain the crafting recipe and how to use detector rails with redstone. Let's start with where you can find detector rails. In mineshafts, there's a 27.1% chance of finding one to four detector rails in minecart chests. The crafting recipe for detector rails is six iron ingots, a stone pressure plate, and redstone dust craft six detector rails. To place a detector rail, right click or hit the use button and it will place the detector rail away from you. You can place the rail on a solid opaque blocks, including mechanism components, for example things like redstone lamps and pistons. Detector rails can also be placed on upside down slabs and upside down stairs. It cannot be placed on the side or bottom of blocks and trying to do so might put the rail on top of the block. When placed, the detector rails align with other rails and also if a rail is one block above. Mobs will avoid walking on rails, but can be pushed onto the rails. The detector rail can be broken by hand, but the quickest tool is the pickaxe. Rails are useful in Minecraft because they allow you to create a track to guide the minecarts. What you use the detector rails for is to detect a minecart on it and know how full the containers of minecarts like hoppers and chest are on it. A minecart that moves over a detector rail will lose a little velocity which can be regained with a powered rail. The length of the signal is always a multiple of 10 redstone ticks. A detector rail can power redstone dust that is adjacent to the rail to a redstone signal of 15. Also it can power redstone repeaters to a signal of 15 facing away from the detector rail. The reason is it needs to face away is the back of the repeater is where the input signal from the detector rail needs to go into. Also a detector rail can power mechanism components to a signal of 15 that are adjacent to the detector rail. The rail can power a redstone comparator that is adjacent and facing away from the rail. One of the modes of the redstone comparator is that it can measure the fullness of containers. This means when either a minecart chest or minecart hopper is on the detector rail, the comparator will output a redstone signal depending on the fullness of the container. This signal could be from 0 to 15 depending on the fullness of the container. One last thing is that the comparator, you can place a solid opaque block between it and the detector rail and it will be able to measure the minecart on the rail. If you have other minecarts besides chest or hopper, the comparator will output a signal of zero.